Good morning, ladies. It's just little old me again. I just wanted to talk to you for a second. I, I know that was so corny, right? Of course, that's okay. If you, if you know me, you know I am corny. So that that's totally fine. Um, what I wanted to talk to you today about is something crazy. I don't know how many of you have ever heard of an infusion water bottle. Well, recently, I just had to have me one. So, of course, I went to Amazon, and I ordered one, and in two days, voila, I had it. I'm going to show it to you. This is it. This is it. See that little chamber in there? I filled that with fresh fruit. Or frozen fruit. I don't care. Just fruit fruit. Um, but anyway, um, today this has been sitting a little while, so it's kind of, you can see that it's discolored. But when you add it, to start with, it's clear. So, what I found out, and I'm sure you're interested in this, is that if I use, I've used fresh fruit, and that's fine, but frozen works just as good. But the other day, I got some fruit berry mixture of frozen fruit, and I used that. And most of the time, my water stays pretty clear if you just use orange or lemon or something like that, but when I put those berries in it, automatically my water turned berry like dark berry that's a good thing <laughs> anyway um i just derived this little uh, little lesson for you out of that so i was told i was talking to sister latoya and she has also used one of these but she tells me that if you use apples or if you use like plums or tough skin fruit you need to peel away that fruit or like the apples you can slice into them and it'll let that apple flavor just filter out into your water well I was thinking about that's kind of how we are um we are this column of fruit column of goodness column of sweetness but how much of what we are gets out into this water to affect our world? My question to you is, do you have a tough little skin like an apple? Or are you a berry? Because I want to be a berry. But if you find yourself having an apple skin, you know what, take care of that apple? I think prayer will just peel that away and make you permeable. So, permeable. Wow, that's a weird word. I said that a little wrong. Permeable. So that that water can seep in and the goodness can just come out and affect everything around you. And so my challenge to you this week is this. Let's be infusion bottles so that what's good in us can seep out and affect our community and our city. And by the way, when I take my little water bottle to work and I have that pretty little fruit in there and that clear water and it looks, and then I put a little ice so it's kind of drippy on the sides. Everybody walks by, it's like, what you got in that? What you got in that? I bet that's good. I can tell they want a taste of it, but if you know me, you know I don't drink after people, so I never offer, but I want to offer them what I have. I want to affect them. I want them to want some of what I am. Think on that. What are you? Are you an apple? Or are you a berry? Y'all have a good Saturday.